guys welcome back to live review i have been very very nice i'm sending a lot of hugs and positivity to all of you in today's video finally i'm going to be sharing a mini book haul the books that i have received in the past few days i'm going to be sharing the books that i have read in the past few days which is a wrap up and i'm going to share the books that i want to read in july that i've already been reading given that this video is going to go up a little later which is my tbr if you want to start with the video straight away you can go ahead and skip this part but i do want to explain why there were no wrap up videos on the channel since such a long time i think i made one in feb probably once i came back from bihar or something and then since then there have been no wrap up videos on my channel let me just explain a little bit so i made that first wrap up videos and i usually make wrap up videos by the way if you're new over here i make a wrap up plus tbr video every single month and i was so happy that i'm going on with it and like it was a routine and it was really nice and i was being consistent with it but 2021 turned out to be a little more crazier than 2020 for me in feb i had to travel and i was not able to upload on youtube in march i got covid in april there was some uh, thing else that happened and elamor had launched in may i really really wanted to post uh, the harry potter vlog or the harry potter video which is there on my channel now and in june i only reread harry potter something that i had already read before which is why i felt like a wrap up video is basically useless at that time which is why there were no wrap up videos but then now like since some time i've started reading new books and i have been dying to make wrap up videos they're like my favorite kind of videos where i get to talk about new books i get to share the new books that i've bought like if i'm not making a video about the books that i have bought and i'm not sharing my happiness with you my happiness is not complete okay like i have to talk about it and it and i have to gush about it and if i'm not talking about the books that i have read and how much i love them and everything it's useless like my happiness is half because i want to talk about it i want to tell you how much i love it and i am so excited about the books that i'm reading in july or the books that i read every month that i have not read yet because again i love to share my experience with you so i'm really sorry that there were no wrap up videos. videos since a long time but good videos have gone live on the channel and i'm really proud of that one and two i promise i'm going to try my best to come up with wrap up videos a lot more consistently now now that we're done with the chit chat let's begin the video we're going to start with the books that i have received in the past few days i actually received most of them in june itself also remember that i was on a book buying ban so i've not bought any of these books i received them from authors or as a gift or something like that the first book that i received is life unknown by kartikeya la I really hope that's how you pronounce the name. Uh, he is the best-selling author of Dream Beyond Shadows. I've always wanted to read that book also, but I just did not get a chance to buy it till now. And then the author reached out to me and he was like, "I would love to gift this book to you." And I was like, "Why not? It's non-fiction. It's a travel log." And you guys know that I love traveling, and I am so excited to read this book because it's so pretty. Just like look at the cover; it's gorgeous. Okay, so I'm like really excited to read this video. not video i'm really excited to read this book next up i received faith and the beloved by kocheri shibu c shibu this is a book that i received like very recently towards the end of june only it is a fiction book i still have to read it the reviews that i've already read about this book are a little controversial like it's they are mixed reviews and i still have to read this book and find out whether i do like this book or not and what my opinion is on the book the next book is happily frustrated by ritika pachauri i've already read this book and again the author sent this book to me and like i've read this book i'm going to gush about it in some time i love ritika from the bottom of my heart as like as a human being she is so inspiring i love to read her books so she came up with this new book and i got a chance to read it and i was really happy next up we have one part woman by perumal murugan and this book was a gift to me for my birthday by devdatta i really hope i'm taking the name right she sent it to me as a birthday gift and she said that she really likes this book this was the only book i received like as a gift from like you guys getting anything from you guys it's i cannot explain no matter what it is it does not matter what it is getting anything from you guys really warms my heart your words your gratitude your motivation and this is a physical thing it's like i can hold it in my hand i feel like i have like a piece of her heart you know like a piece of her heart belongs to the story and i have it with myself and i feel so nice about it i also read the book and I'll talk about it. Next up we have Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. This is a very famous book. It's not exactly my book. My brother got like bought it. But 
it goes in my shelf like a doll like any book in the house goes in my shelf so i always count it as you know a book that i can read and that's the reason i'm including it in the haul last but not the least i received influence the extended version yeah it's new and expanded i got it from the publishers harper collins i got it around my birthday i consider it as my birthday gift and i was really really happy that day it's thick it's really thick i've read the smaller version of it i've read the like the first version of it and i've also recommended it as a must read book in my other videos talking about the books that i have read in the past few days so the first is the harry potter series i read the entire series twice okay i read it to i'm just keeping the book i read it twice first time i read it when i had covid in march and then i had to make a video and then i was like not in the zone and i was like really busy so then i had to reread reread it so that i get back into the zone of harry potter and i'm able to make a very informative and nice video for you guys i have made two videos based on harry potter already it's there on the channel you can go and check it out they're spoiler free so even if you've never read harry potter before it's amazing for you it will tell you whether harry potter 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 <laughs> whether harry potter is worth it or not the next book i read is you are a bad ass by jensen serum and it was not on my tbr and i did not have to read it but i'm going through like this revelation phase i'll make a video about it soon uh, on the channel but i'm going through this phase right now and i feel like i wanted to reaffirm my bad assery at this time like when i'm going through the reformation and that's the reason i read this book it did not take me a lot of time to finish this book i read it like like very quickly because i've read it already it was not exactly like a guide or something for me it was more like a motivational book for me because it just pushed me you know like it pushed me that i'm awesome i've talked a lot about this book before so i'm not going to say a lot but it's amazing if you are like struggling with your self worth self esteem self confidence everything self you can read this book it will remind you what and what a badass you are and it will help you to like push aside all the limiting beliefs that you have the language is very easy and it's a beginner friendly book next up i read one part woman okay, the writing style is amazing it's beautiful it's like a branch of a tree so you know there's like this main stem and you're just like going and going and it will branch out to a new story and then you read that and you come back to the stem and then you're going up again and then there's the, it branches out again to a new like not new story story of a new character so i love the writing style it was a lot of fun but one it was slightly slow for me given that i like thrillers and like the the thrill you know like only because of that it was slightly slow for me if you do like slow paced books or something like that this book is amazing two it just has a lot of things that you have to read between the lines you read the book but there's like so much of hidden meaning and like hidden message behind it i really thought that this is the kind of book that i could read in one sitting because it's so thin but no it took me some time to read this book because i had to read between the lines to understand every single thing in the book talking about what the book is about it's about a couple that is not able to conceive and it's basically that it shows what they are going through it shows their position in the whole society it shows how this one thing is impacting their whole life every single decision that they make every single action that they take you are able to understand different types of like natures of human beings because of the characters in this book i really enjoyed it i really 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 enjoyed it but if you are a beginner and you're not interested in like reading a book that has a lot of hidden messages or you know reading between the lines getting deeper than what you are reading then this book is not for you but if you are in that zone oh my god this is going to be one of my most favorite books ever next up we have happily frustrated by ritika pachauri and again like as i said in the beginning i love ritika I I loved her first book Virago and I was very excited for this book also. Now one this is a very very extremely beginner friendly book. Two I love the characters of Ritika because she just writes characters that I feel like I have met in my real life. Like I ha I have those kind of people around me. They don't seem that fictitious in my head. Three this book is very very inspiring. Her books are always inspiring. They're way more inspiring than motivational. Like she herself is like really motivated. Thing, but her characters are way more inspiring when you are reading her characters you feel like you know what like let me have a look within me like let me like look inside me you know like let me look at the kind of person i am 
and then let me pursue what i really want to do it's not only about ch chasing your goals like in your work life it's about being the kind of person that you want to be overall and this book is very very good in inspiring you in that way because shelly has her husband but her husband has left her for another boy like another man and shelly's like so heartbroken and then like she's basically self sabotaging every single part of her life including her friendships and her work and then you see her rise from that but you don't see her rise from that in a very unrealistic way or like in a way that oh oh my god like she woke up one day and everything was fine that's not how it happens it's very real that's what i'm saying it's very realistic it is something that all of us go through all of us are at a point in our life some time or the other where we're like everything is over and then the next day we still wake up and we still keep going and we still keep moving and that is what sherry does it's beautiful i think if you are a beginner you must read this book next up i read the heart asks pleasure first i don't know where the jacket is but it's a hard cover and this is what it looks like the jacket is really gorgeous though but anyways it the book is by karuna azara parik i'm not finished this book i was going to finish it like i did have the time and blah blah everything was perfect and i was reading it in the beginning like a crazy woman and i was like after every 2 3 pages i was like oh my the author is one of the best authors ever like her writing like i'm going to read one line to you from this which is going to be like like i've highlighted it and it's like amazing she wanted to eat small pieces of his brain to taste how his thoughts had made him this human being see like i know that if you think about it like literally eating someone's brain that's not pretty at all but if you know what i mean like this is the most intimate line i have ever read in a love story okay like and this is just one line there are beautiful lines in this book so i was really enjoying it but it's the love story of a guy and a girl it is a story of a lot more characters who are involved in their life and how they play a role like in the love story and how they play a role in how these both characters have you know grown up and how they have become the people they are today the way the character has been written in is amazing and i love it but there were it just got really political in certain parts of the book now it's not like i hate it or something i'm i just don't enjoy political content a lot i do try to read it as much as possible but i don't enjoy it a lot it's not exactly political but i don't know how to explain it my brain was getting too busy and i was not able to read it like i was like i'm not in the space right now so i dropped it i will probably read it like this month itself i'm still reading a few pages every single day because the writing style is so beautiful but i don't have my opinion formed yet and once i do read this book i will let you know next book i finished reading is letting go by david hawkins the best book in the whole world okay this is going to be the next ultimate gift the next 40 rules of love in my list okay like it's a gem a gem that was in my shelf since years now and i did not read it and then i read it and i fell in love and you know like the realizations that i'm talking about right now like this book has helped me so much with them i just want to like sniff this book within me you know like ugh. i'm going to read read this book very very soon like it's the kind of book that you read every morning i do not suggest that you read it at once this book is very technical it's very scientific and stuff along with being very philosophical both of those things it dives deep into the idea of letting go of your pain of every single thing that is holding you back there are so many ways to letting go of things this is one of them but this way is gorgeous okay it's like really good i think avid readers can read this book they will enjoy it a lot if you are a beginner only if you're interested in science plus philosophy then it's a great book it is heavy but it's amazing like i hope i made sense with that last but not the least i read skin rules by dr jayashree sharad i've already talked about this book in the video where i'm recommending uh, books related to health oh i'm in the same kurti in that video she is a doormat of like many celebrities and everything i got this book and i was like let me just give it a try it was like a funny thing for me in the beginning like in the beginning i was like who writes a book on this stuff 
but bro like it's good it's a good good book i really thought it will be like complicated and it will be like things that you cannot do on a day-to-day -day basis like that's what happens when you're reading reading health books but this is not like that it's a basic like things that you need to know about your skin like they're important it's written in a fun and easy way so even beginners can read it it's not really a book that's only meant for readers even if you are not a reader but you want to know more about your skin it's a good guide and i really like it also my skincare routine is like highly based on this book talking about the books that i want to read in july and i'm already reading some of them the first book is faith and the beloved second is influence now this is the book that i'm reading a little bit every single day like a textbook i do not think that i will be finishing this book in this month itself because it's really thick and there's like a lot of information and it's really really good i'm reading it like a course book for myself because i want to learn the art of persuasion the next is the house that spoke by zuni chopra now i was up like it's a really pretty book okay i was gonna read this book sometime back but i came to know that this book is written by like a very very young author and it's a debut for some reason that put me off at that time so i did not read it because at that time i was not in the mood to read that kind of a book but it's a thriller and I want to read more thrillers this month so I can make the thriller recommendations video next month. So I'm reading this. Next, I want to read The Great Gatsby. The book is gorgeous. The Great Gatsby. I want to read it because I want to make the classics video very, very soon. Next, I'm going to read A Man Called Ov. Ovi. I don't know how to pronounce it. By Frederick Bachman. I also want to read anxious people but i will have to buy that book and i'm not done with my book buying ban yet next up i'm going to read the girl on the train by paula hawkins same reason like i'm first of all very very excited to read this book but also because uh i want to make the thriller video next month next we have let love take over by thompson robert now this is another book that i'm reading like this is the second book i'm reading by the same author i read the first book and i really really liked it alimony of the year it was such a good book and now the author reached out to me and he was like i have come up to come out with my second book and i was like oh I just love it when you know people that I've already worked with are messaging me again to work with me again it just gives me a lot of validation and I love it next up I'll talk more about how much I love this like the look of this book next month because I'll talk about it as like a book haul thing in next month I'm already so excited about next month's like wrap up video because I know I'm reading amazing books and I received amazing books this month but it's this again it's like really thick and it's hardcover and it's gorgeous it is the shit they never taught you by adam jones and adam ashton they both adam they have a podcast and that podcast is amazing these are all the lessons that you keep thinking like you learn on your day-to-day -day basis and you're like why weren't we taught this before so it's like a collection of all those kind of lessons it's really thick it will take me time to read it but i'm going to read it last but not the least i want to read it's Fuck Like a Goddess by Alexandra Roxo. Heal yourself, reclaim your voice, stand in your power. This is the most gorgeous books of all times. It's about reclaiming the, your own voice in your head instead of like letting the voices of other people, you know, rule your entire life and like make all your choices on the basis of other people's voice in your head you're getting rid of limiting beliefs getting rid of judgment all those kind of things and i'm so excited about it the hard cover is white color and then it has this colored like spine <laughs> okay i'm gonna overreact about it later like next month because again i received it this month so I'll overreact next month. But yeah, this is the next book that I want to read. All right, you guys, this is it for today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I really enjoyed making it after so long. It may be a little long video, but there are so many books to discuss. I really do hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for all the support that you show already. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.